Today we'll be solving the third challenge on Ethernet called coin flip. Let's take a look at what we're supposed to do. So scroll down. And this contract is a coin flipping game and our objective is to guess the correct outcome 10 times in a row. So I'll scroll down and then copy the contract over to Remix. While we analyze the contract, I'll also get a new instance of this contract. So I'll click on get new instance. Click confirm. I pasted the code from Ethernet over to Remix. And again, just a reminder that the objective of this game is to guess the correct outcome 10 times in a row. So let's take a look at the contract. So what we'll need to do is get consecutive wins, the number of wins to 10. So I'm going to scroll down and see where this state variable is updated. So scrolling down, I see that it is getting incremented when we call the function flip. And the condition for the consecutive win state variable to increment is that the guess from the input is equal to some computation that is done inside the contract. So we'll be able to win this challenge if our guess is equal to this variable called side 10 times in a row. The way we're going to win this challenge is by copying this part of the code into another contract and that contract will call into this contract calling a function flip 10 times. So first I'll scroll up and then create a contract. I'll name it hack and then we'll store the address of this coin flip contract. So I'll say coin flip private immutable. I'll name it target. This target, we'll set it inside the constructor. So I'll say constructor, then address underscore target, and then say target is equal to coin flip at the address of the target from the constructor input. Okay, next we'll declare a function that we're going to be calling 10 times so that we'll increase the consecutive wins up to 10. Say function, I'll name it flip. This will be external. And inside here, we'll call the function flip inside the coin flip contract. I'll type target dot flip. And for the input of this function flip, we'll need to pass in some kind of guess that we'll compute later. So for now, I'll, I'll say guess. This is a variable that we have not declared yet yet. I'll say boolean guess is equal to something we don't know yet. We don't know what this guess is going to be yet. And then now if you look at the function flip, it returns a boolean and it returns true if the guess is equal to the calculation that is done inside the contract. So here, when we call this function flip, we'll make sure that our guess is correct by saying require target.flip of guess is equal to true, meaning that our guess was correct. And we'll do this 10 times in a row. And the error message I'll type guess failed. Notice here that if the guess is incorrect, then this transaction will fail. So we're guaranteed to be able to guess the correct side 10 times in a row. Okay, so now the hard part. How do we get the correct guess 10 times in a row? So what I'm gonna do is I'll copy this part of the code and then I'll create an internal function, function underscore guess. We will make this private, view returns boolean and then paste the code that we copied over from the coin flip contract. And then we'll take out some of the code that we're not going to be needing. Looks like we won't be needing this part of the code. We also don't need a state variable. And we're left with the code inside the coin flip that calculates the side of the guess. And we'll return this, return side. Now, if you look over here, there's a variable named factor that we'll need to copy over from the coin flip contract. So I'll copy this and then paste it here. And the last step is to, to get the guess. We'll call this internal function underscore guess. And this completes our hack contract. What we're going to do is call this flip function 10 times. When we submit a transaction and execute this function, first it will execute this part of the code and it will compute the side that we need to pass to the function flip for the coin flip. Now notice that this part of the code is exactly the same as this part of the code inside the coin flip contract. So what this means is that the guess that we're going to be passing for the input will always match this variable side that is computed inside the coin flip contract. So that is how we're going to guess the correct outcome 10 times in a row. So I'll compile the contract and then we'll deploy the contract. Click on the deployment tab and make sure that we've selected Gorley testnet. So I'll click on injected provider. 
and then we'll deploy the hack contract. The hack contract needs the address of the coin flip contract. So I'll get the address of the coin flip contract from Ethernet. I've typed F12 on my keyboard and this will pop up the browser console. And inside it, I see the contract address that was deployed. So I'll copy this. Back inside Remix, I'll paste the address of the coin flip contract and then deploy the hack contract. We're going to be calling the function flip 10 times. And to see our progress, we'll load the coin flip contract and get the current consecutive wins. So I'll select coin flip, paste the address, and then load the coin flip contract at this address. So scroll down, open the coin flip, click on consecutive wins, and it is currently equal to zero. Our goal is to get this to 10. So what we're going to do is call the function flip and then submit the transaction. You can see here that our first transaction was successful. Now, if I go back to the coin flip contract and then click on consecutive wins, you can see that it has increased to one. So we're gonna be repeating this 10 times. Call the flip function, and after 10 times, we won the challenge. So I'll click on flip nine more times. Okay, I've called the flip function 10 times, and let's see what our consecutive win is. Click on it, and it is equal to 11. It's more than 10, so we're now ready to submit this contract to Ethernet. Back inside Ethernet, I'll click on submit instance. Once you win the challenge, you'll see the button change to go to next level. So see you in the next level.